welcome my dear children myself jyoti kokate today we will be learning evs from standard 3 the topic for the day is lesson number 16 sensory organs we get a lot of information about various things in our environment through our sense organs what is meant by sensory organs the sense organs are the body organs by which we are able to see smell hear taste and touch or feel all these organs are sensitive to the activities that they performed the eyes the ears the nose the tongue and the skin are our sense organs children now tell me which are the organs that help you to see things around you eyes are the sensory organs which help us to see the beautiful world children we can see many things with our eyes now look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through our eyes number 1 the shape of the things like square rectangle circle and triangle number 2 we can see different size and volume of things with our eyes number 3 the colors of the rainbow for example blue red yellow indigo purple orange and green number 4 we can guess the distance between two things with our eyes number 5 we can see the height and depth of things with our eyes children can you tell me these are the organs on either side of your head that allow you to hear what are they i'll tell you ears are the sensory organs which help us to hear different sounds children we hear different sounds with our ears now look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through our ears number 1 to recognize the person by his or her voice number 2 we recognize the things by sound with our ears number 3 we hear shrill and melodious voice with our ears number 4 ears help us to hear loud and soft sound number 5 the direction of the sound children can you tell me which is the organ with which you breathe the name of the organ is nose with which we breathe air to live children nose is a sensory organ which helps us to smell children look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through our nose number 1 sweet smell children we perceive the smell of a fragrant flower and incense stick with our nose number 2 bad smell means stink children the nose tells us about a foul smell in the air number 3 recognize a thing by smell 
children the nose tells us the smell of a delicious food or the food is spoiled children can you guess which is the organ that helps you to know different taste in the mouth tongue is a sensory organ which helps us to taste different things we can taste and talk with our tongue how do you come to know the taste actually there are taste buds on our tongue so these taste buds helps to taste the things children we taste the substances with the help of our tongue now look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through our tongue number 1 sugar and jaggery are sweet in taste number 2 bitter gourd is bitter in taste number 3 lemons and raw mangoes are sour number 4 salt is salty children a pinch of salt in a food gives nice taste to our delicious food children if we eat a chili our tongue gets a burning sensation so we say that the chili is hot children can you tell me which is the organ that rhyme with bin it's a skin skin is a sensory organ which helps us to feel children we can feel the things through the contact of the skin now look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through the contact of our skin number 1 shapes of the things number 2 surfaces of the things like smooth rough soft and hard number 3 the temperature of the things like cold warm and hot now let's see coordination in our movements what is coordination the ability to use different parts of the body together smoothly and efficiently we use different parts of our body for different movements we need coordination to get any task done smoothly lack of coordination gives a rise to mistakes or muddles now let's see overcoming disability children if a part of our body does not function well we face many difficulties if our eyes do not function well we cannot see properly if our ears do not work as they should we cannot hear well in such situation our movements are not smooth we find it difficult to do things on our own but such situations can be overcome some disabilities can be corrected by medical treatment and in some matters we can take the help of other people often some special devices can be used to overcome the disability then it becomes possible to carry out our own task independently if we cannot see well 
we can use spectacles and if we cannot see at all we can make use of sounds or feel with the hands to get things done children you might have seen a blind person who is using a white cane blind people use a cane to feel the way in front of them the sounds they hear around them also help them to know the situation around them thus they can make their way independently even on a crowded road or full of traffic a person who cannot hear well can use a hearing aid those who cannot hear at all can use sign language in some cases a surgery can help a person to hear properly if there is a defect in the leg a special wheelchair can be used then the defect in the leg is no more a hurdle so in this way people can overcome the disabilities so students today what we have learned number 1 our sensory organs tell us about the situation all around us number 2 the eyes ears nose tongue and skin are our five sensory organs number 3 we can see with our eyes hear with our ears smell with our nose we taste things with our tongue and feel them with our skin number 4 when we work we need to have coordination in all the tasks difficulties may arise due to lack of coordination number 5 if any organ does not function well we may face difficulties in doing our work number 6 we must not give up in the face of difficulties they can be overcome now it's a exercise time question 1 some ingredients we use in the kitchen are named below what are their colors ingredients and their colors number 1 turmeric yellow in color number 2 coriander leaves green in color number 3 ripe chili red in color number 4 salt white in color number 5 an unripe tomato green in color question 2 which sensory organ gives you the following information number 1 the guava is sweet tongue number 2 the cuckoo is singing on the tree outside ears number 3 the sunflower is yellow eyes number 4 the incense stick has a nice fragrance nose number 5 the medicine is bitter tongue number 6 the towel is rough skin now it's a homework time question 1 what is mean by sensory organs answer the organs that tell us about the surroundings are called sensory organs or sense organs ears eyes nose tongue and skin are the different sensory organs of our body question 2 why is coordination necessary answer we need coordination to carry out all the tasks smoothly without any mistakes or muddles if there is no coordination we will fumble 
with simple task thank you my dear children